Dot Decimal is a manufacturer of patient-specific devices for cancer patients receiving radiation therapy. Well, our business model is a little unique in that we're completely internet-based. We never know what we're going to manufacture every day until today happens. Everyone with cancer is kind of looking at their watch. You know, let's hurry up and get this done. Let's let's treat it. Let's let's stop it before it spreads, if possible. Um, so time is of the essence. So for patient care, patient comfort, and for simpler, simple uh, tumor control, you want to respond as quickly as possible. And so every one of our devices must be QA prior to use on a human. And so not only do we have to make it in time, the physicist has to go ahead and QA it prior to uh, the patient being treated. Each cancer center uh, uploads their uh, design specifications for their patients to our web portal and whereby from there we generate a tool path we send it out to our, all of our Mazax we make it that day we send it out that night being a medical device manufacturer we obviously have a lot of concerns over quality um, but in addition to quality it's it's not just I gotta make sure every parts good quality also means I have to make sure I can get that part to the customer when they need it you know, if I can produce the best quality devices, but I can't do it quickly, that's a problem. Uh, and if I can't do it consistently, that's a problem. So having machines that have great uptime, having machines that, um, you know, that we know the service track record for, um, that, that we know just, just do what they're supposed to do and do it every day and do it well. And if you maintain them well, they last a long time. There's very little downtime. Having the same machines allows us to move parts from one to the other in the rare event of downtime. Um, so for us, it's, it's that sort of brand reputation and that recognition that Mazak produces quality parts and there's, or quality machines. And there's very little downtime in them. They run you know, very well. And if you follow their, you know, their, the, the Mazak scheduled maintenance and you keep up on your preventative and corrective maintenance on those machines, they last a long time and they do their job, you know, maintaining tolerances, keeping things in spec for a, a long time. Our first uh, serious vertical machining center was a Mazak. And um, we, we've had them now since 1998. We have about 27 of them right now. We have everything from 410s and 510s to 510s with indexers, five axis indexers. Um, we have an Integrex. And we also have the, uh, the new Universal 400A 5Xs. Uh, I think definitely the price was very attractive on the VCUs. Uh, the, the cost was almost on par with some of the regular 3-axis machines that, that we also have around here. Uh, so to see that cost be much lower uh, was great. At Dot Decimal, we have become process maniacs, all right? And that we, for example, Outback, you'll see, they're all Mazaks. And we have a design specification that we work with the folks in Kentucky to deliver the same machine with the same specs with dot decimal specific uh, parameters set so that we can control those processes. Because it's very difficult when you make every single part as unique as a snowflake like that we do. We don't know what's coming in. We have to control all those inputs all the way back to the design elements. Standardizing our whole shop to use Mazex across the board, to have the same software on every machine, to have the same software that generates toolpaths everywhere is a huge part of, of that process being so hands-off. The stability comes from the similarity and, and controlling that consistency of design and consistency of software across every machine, across every part type, across everything that comes in our, uh, in our lab. You know, to date, we've never had a, a part return for, for being incorrect. We've never had one, um, you know, caught because of a, a machining problem with those machines. Um, you know, obviously you have the occasional, you know, tooling issues or, or other things. Um, but we haven't had any problems with the, you know, with the machines themselves that I'm aware of. And we have a long history of a partnership with Mazak where we've leveraged their skills and talents from the local sales and service area all the way up to the Kentucky office and Neil DeRosier, how they have come in and, and put their fingerprints on Dot Decimal 
to where we couldn't do what we do for cancer patients if it weren't for those leveraged partnerships.